hello friends welcome back to my channel as you can see today we have sandra sandra nicole my sister sister -ger is what i call her <laughs> my youtube everything yeah um and today we're going to do a sister tag we also have some little eats this is the the vegan cake y'all saw me eating in was it the last vlog yes yes because you went to the festival yes the festival. and they finally opened a like a storefront so i went and grabbed some today so we're gonna taste it mm -hmm. well not taste it because i already know it's good but yeah. oh i didn't get mine <laughs> we'll be eating on that today while we are chatting she got the the I have. strawberry lemonade and they're both vegan. Yeah. If you're in Memphis, check out 350 Baked in the Hickory Ridge Mall. I guess what else? The, the strawberry biscuit. That Popeye strawberry biscuit. I know, vegan Popeye. I know. Don't. don't I, and I'm not going to lie, I am going to taste it because I'm just curious, but I'm not eating a whole biscuit. But yeah, we're going to get our reaction to that too but for the sister tag we're gonna set a timer because we can talk when we get together yes <laughs> or we get to reminiscing and laughing so we're gonna set a timer you know I, I, I had it pulled up on my phone so when you're 30, ready so 30 minutes 30 minutes okay <laughs> if we have even that much battery life I got extra batteries though so we can change it and continue but no more than 30 minutes also for editing purposes <laughs> yes y'all excuse my ring doorbell it's okay check it. I security just, matters I just, uh snoozed it security matters i snoozed it y'all okay first question I'm gonna start the timer now okay describe each other in one word you're so awesome and multifaceted. I don't know. Aww. Um, you can go first if you have your word. I have kind-hearted. <gasps> I think that's a good oh, one. Thank you. To describe my sister. <laughs> I don't. I can't think of one word. I know it's like it doesn't have to be like your top like the number one word to describe me could just be anything you are very like consistent mm -hmm. and like steadfast and like when you're focused on something mm -hmm. you are focused and you do it like to the nth degree in the best way okay yeah i'll take that like for example like me and beauty stuff like I can come to her with anything. Oh, you just need to use this and do this and do that. And I'm just like, just order two, honey. Yeah. Cause I, <laughs> I don't, okay. Yeah. Just order two and tell me what, how much to cash up you. Cause that, that's not mine. <laughs> yeah. I've been like that since maybe probably middle school. Yeah. But well, in elementary, I did shave my legs. I was like, what? Oh, you don't remember that? that? Uh-uh. You had hair? Oh. <laughs> I'm the one that had all has all the hair. You yes, ma'am. You had to shave in elementary school? On Reagan Street in <laughs> South Memphis. Yes, ma'am. And my dad found out, and he was so upset. He was like, you can't do that. <laughs> You could cut yourself. I was like, but I didn't. And I hate all this hair on my legs, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was. I still am very hairy. But mm. believe me, honey, it's, it's tank. Okay? That is too. So you've been into beauty and self care. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Literally most of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting into my mom's fashion fair makeup. So how did you find out about shaving? Mom, you just saw mama doing it? Or? I either saw her or prop or maybe dad. But just because shaving his face and you just got the idea to just shave your legs. <laughs> definitely elementary school. Definitely Hamilton Elementary. Yes, ma'am. I remember very vividly. 
And my dad sat me down and talked to me. Yeah, because he told me I should not be doing it. It's not time. That is hilarious. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. it, had, it may have been his tools, his shaving. Mm. It had to have been. I didn't cut my leg up or anything, though. That's and I'm a, I don't know if I use shaving cream or what, or soap or what. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, see, we already had 26 minutes left. And oh, that was shoot. one okay. question. <laughs> Who is noisier? Who makes, or maybe louder, or? We're both calm, Nate. We're, we don't. It just depends. Speaks loud. If it's something fun, then. Yeah, neither one of us is really noisy. I wouldn't say that at no. all. No, nobody would be like uh, Faith and Sandra are loud. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, we're not. You mean mad us. though? Different story or the, the situation. But yeah, I can definitely elevate my voice. That's for sure. Yeah, but but on a regular, no. just walking around. I I got burn my ass. Right. Mm -mm. Now I might do that with one of my kids, but it's if I need them to bring me something. Situation. Anyway, it is out. But okay. overall, no. Okay, next question. decision maker again I feel like again it's situational <laughs> yeah I think it depends on what it is on who might make the better decision so I would say we both have the capability to make good decisions, good decisions yeah. and have but just like any human being well in my opinion okay I think you make the better decisions I know better I don't want to say I don't know now. I know better. But who takes that step to go ahead and make that actual good decision? Well, I'm not just talking about now as adults. I'm talking about overall. Hmm. Now, if you're talking about like things with, I don't know, buying a car or buying a house, Sometimes I sometimes I am impulsive. And I'll be like, man, I just I want it. I don't care. But you're not like that. I can be. It just it just depends. I well I'll say I'm more like that than you are. And if I do that, like I make a plan behind it mm -hmm. to like <laughs> take care of it. <laughs> yeah, see I just I'm not thinking about any of it on some, on some things. Not everything, but some things, yeah, I'm just like, man, I want it. Yeah. I'll figure it out later if, if something come up and this this was the wrong decision. And now, if you, ask, if you ask my husband, he'll say that I can be impulsive. He is really? definitely the more okay patient, um, think all the way through and kind of pass things. And I'm just like, well, I mean, YOLO. <laughs> yeah, we can handle it. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it depends on what it It'll is. It'll be fine. Get all of them. <laughs> Live life. Yeah, and he's like, no. <laughs> Sometimes I say that too much in my head, <laughs> but I can say he hasn't been wrong. Like, okay, for sure. There's nothing that he has been like. No, that's a bad decision. He was wrong about it. So, okay, I be listening. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Next guys. <laughs> I love I am Zoe. Shout out to I am Zoe. I am Zoe or Kaya. Oh, I don't know about Kaya. I never listened to her. I never Kaya heard her say. Kaya Madison. I watched it like the one time you sent it to me, and then I just it wasn't my judge. I think she did. I think she did it before uh, before Zoe. Oh, okay. Well, shout out to Kaya. But I first heard it from my own, so. Not that I'm a, a huge fan or anything, but I think she said it first. Oh, what was the name of this show? Queens? No. Queens? Queens we are Queens? getting so know. off track. Okay, we have anyway. 22 minutes. Who's the better dancer? I would say, I would say she is. I'm more like, teach me some choreography. And I can yeah. like, 
I can perfect that. But like freestyle or just like current dancing and stuff, it's it's a no for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I get. I say the same. Freestyle. I'll say me and she know. Me trying to do one two step. <laughs> eight counts. No ma'am. My I, brain needs that. Needs the clarity. Even with exercising, <laughs> y'all, I can't stand that. <laughs> I love it. I Tell me it. what to do and show me how to do it, and I'm let me do that because I I don't want to think about it. Like mm -mm, I don't want to feel it. No, A B C D one two three four. Yeah. Mm. Boom clack boom. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely because you were dance basketball cheerleader, cheerleader. and varsity. Yeah, varsity co-ed. And cheerleading, yes, okay, and dance team, yes, varsity dance, varsity team. dance, varsity so, dance, yeah. varsity cheer, and basketball cheerleader. cheerleader. Okay, yeah, me, I think I tried out once. Did I try out one time for one of <laughs> basketball <Yeah>. cheerleader? <laughs> having cool. memories and remember they were like they were like what's going what's, what's going on with you what's wrong with your arms she has, she has hyper extended elbows yes. <laughs> and then she was like no turn it go this way no i was like man it's like mm, we but love was, you though i was really in it for the wrong reason anyway so God intervened in that one. Oh my man. gosh, yes. The hyperextended elbows is <laughs> like them high V's look like yep. inverted V's. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. And that's all I had it, y'all. I was like, well, me and my sister gonna be on the team. Like, and all wasn't, the basketball players gonna see me. And wasn't. <laughs> oh, remember, I end up being the basketball. The, um, the, oh, what do you, the, not a trainer, but, uh, um, the people who help y'all, uh, manager. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up doing that because I was like, I'm going to do something. I mean, like, that was closer to your yes, goal. because I got to go to all the games and stuff, child. She got closer to the team. I'll go back then. Yeah. Okay. See, best, who's a better decision maker? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Because my decision to do that wasn't the right right decision. It was for the wrong reason. I got into it because I wanted to do gymnastics, but I never did it, so I settled really? for. Yes, I should have been like Simone Biles, but I was too scared. Oh, okay, okay. So I you just, voiced that? You said you said you wanted to do that? Mm-hmm. They signed me up and everything, and I when I was like five, and they I, I chickened out, and they didn't make me do it, so... I wish they had. Okay, yeah. But they did us like that with swimming too. It was like we didn't want to learn. It was like okay. But okay. Next, do we have the same taste in men? No, absolutely not. <laughs> and mine has. I flip flop honestly. We probably both prefer tall men, but that's where it, I think it starts and ends. See, I flip flop. I'm I'm out of that. Stage. Okay, does he at least have to be taller than you? Yes, he can even be just one inch taller than me and I'm fine. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm on board with that too. Like yeah. you can't I can't look down. It's yeah. just I just I just won't have respect. I just won't. And I don't know why. Really? But no, I don't I no. I'm already close enough to the ground. Hey. <laughs> like I just I don't I look, call it a toxic trait, I don't know what to say but no my man has to be taller than me and and he is and i love i mean it. i'm talking about the no respect part i i know i just i mean that's probably the worst part of me <laughs> no, i won't disrespect him but maybe i should say i won't take him seriously yeah that's <laughs> better because <laughs> that's kind of not the same thing not to me. The <laughs> other word was harsher to me. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know. And then, I've over the years, I've noticed that shorter men have like that Napoleon complex. Some of them do. Yeah. And That's true. it's just, it's just like, sir, no, you can't even look me in the eye. 
was like, you can't tell me anything. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta pick and choose now. The, the the character, the personality, all of that gotta line up too now. All of it. Yeah. All of this stuff. Morals. No offense to my dad. He's great. Oh, yeah. He's the best. Ooh, Faye. See, that's why I said some. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Celebrity crush. Oh, I have so many. At my age, I don't have one anymore. I do. Um, but <laughs> well, you go first. I'm gonna have cake. I already know it's delicious. So okay. I'm just have a bite. I may have to look them up. What was the guy's name on um? What was the guy's name on Scandal? Sixteen minute Season. time check. Okay, the guy on Scandal, I don't know his name. He's been in plenty of movies and... Wait, is he white or black? Black. He played the guy who... I think it was season four. What is his name? Oh, my goodness, guys. Let me look it up real quick. Ooh. Or you just, since you've been watching Scandal, you saw him? Yes. She late to the scammer game, y'all. She asked me had I watched it. I was like, I've seen every bit of it, and I watched it all while it was coming on TV. Scandal, scandal, season four. The guy who was a part of B613, it was a black guy. And he saw Olivia in a in a bar at a bar. Did she sleep with him too? Mm-hmm. Her dad sent him to um, Olivia was up. Yeah, she was something else. I was like, girl, kind of get. I love you, but you know, calm down a little bit. You kind of making us look, you know. And, the, and you know what? Her she her name was Alex, and his name was something else. Remember, they didn't use the, their real names when they met each other? Okay, you may have to move on to the next one because we are down to 13 minutes. Okay, what is your crush then? I don't have one at my oh, age. Okay. Younger, I, I had a crush on Bobby Brown, Usher. Usher's still a crush of mine, yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, really? The scandal, is that why? A lot, like he had too many scandals, like scandals with an S, and like wild stuff. I was like, ew. And then he didn't come out with he he hasn't topped confessions yet. He hasn't, hasn't even matched it. So I'm just like, eh. That doesn't have anything to do with having a crush on him. It does for me in my mind because it's showing me what kind of person he is. Mm. Or at least allegedly, let me say that. <laughs> okay. okay, do people get us mixed up? No. Our names, yes. Or if we're on the phone. Definitely. People don't know who they're talking to if we're on there together. I heard one okay. person explain it once that my voice is a little deeper than yours. So that's how okay. she could tell us apart. Do we ever argue? No. When we were younger, of course. Oh yeah, we fought physically. We did. <laughs> Heck yeah. You and uh, you, why do I not remember that? You used to pin me down on the floor, y'all. She is like freakishly strong. I am. Yeah. It is so odd. Like she is so strong, y'all. Yeah. She used to pin me down on the floor. <laughs> Girl. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just claustrophobic because of it, but it's okay. We used Why to fight, y'all. And I can't even tell you what it was about. It was. Be right back. Few moments later. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Quick commercial break. Let me taste this. Oh, yes. Let me. This is. Okay, cold. I just started back anyway. 
She's trying the coconut for the first time. The vegan mm, mm. 350 baked coconut. Yes. It's really that's good. good. Oh, okay. It's yeah, fluffy good. and mm -hmm. moist. Not too coconutty. Mm -hmm. I think it would like send it over the edge if she put like um mm. like um uh, mom does and use the uh condensed milk like poke if it holes was in vegan. It. <laughs> I mean if it wasn't vegan. She but there's coconut condensed milk. Mm. I didn't know that. Yes, it's so good. I found it at Whole Foods and Amazon. So Ooh. if you're ever looking for condensed milk, a vegan version, mm. they have it. Or you can slow boil coconut milk in the can. Okay. It takes a long time, but it'll turn into condensed milk. Okay. I'm gonna try this strawberry lemonade. Okay, now she's gonna try the strawberry lemonade really quick. Yeah, then we're gonna get back into this. Um, Do we are? Right? Yeah, I don't like hearing that. You know we did. We you know we not fought. to that point. Oh, <laughs> you were probably really mad at me about something. Who know? I don't know. I just remember bits and pieces, or like I would do stuff like hit her and then like run. <laughs> Cause wow, I knew, that is not in my core memory. That may be why you held me down because I hit you and ran, but mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you why I hit her. It was probably over some stupid like she got to the TV first and was controlling the remote, mm -hmm. which meant she controlled the TV <laughs> shows. And she loves you love like the seventies good times, and I didn't want to watch none of that. <laughs> But she would make sure she got to the remote first, and I would just be like, oh, this is. Uh oh. I don't like this. Was Mr. Chime Time right? He was right, right about this. The strawberry lemonade. Oh, he didn't taste the vegan. I mean, the coconut. Uh uh. I don't taste anything. Is it dry? Mm hmm. It is moist, but I don't taste. You don't taste strawberry lemon or. or mm hmm. You think your tongue is coated from the, oh, yeah, the coconut? It may be. Because I don't know what's on top of the coconut cake, but it's not like a thick. It's it, it it's kind of whipped. I think it's a mm -hmm. whipped, maybe mixed uh, whipped cream and frosting together, maybe. I don't know. But it's, the coconut is uh, the flavor in the coconut. It's much better. Yes, I think it's a vanilla or a white really, cake. Cause, because they should have really, especially that lemon, I should have really tasted lemon. I don't think that too. That's weird that you don't taste anything. You've never had this one? No, that, that I don't like lemon cake. And that combo as cake is not appealing to me. Oh, okay. So, it was a no for me from the jump. Well, again, I apologize, honey. I, I mean, Okay, next is anything that annoys each other, annoy you about me. No. The only thing that I don't, that annoys me is when she, the way that she talks sometimes, because I love positivity <laughs> and speaking positive. And I don't like it when she says things that I don't want to say she's putting herself down. It's another word for it. But she's just not speaking the, the positive words in her life like she should. Like, I don't want to hear, I'm just not the best at that. Yes, you can be. I mean, or just reword it and say, you're great at that. And that's something that I'll have to learn. Or like... <laughs> In my refresh video today, I said my dumb self out here in white shoes. See? <laughs> but I was in mud in white shoes and, and I wasn't I'm, thinking. I, I, well, just say I love these white shoes so much and I wasn't thinking about the dirt when, you know, but now I know, so I would never do that again. I that's true. You just have to change it around instead yeah. of saying your dumb self. You are not dumb. 
She's but other, like, that's nothing else. I like. do need to change that for sure. Um, I do battle with like internal, like negative self talk. So she's not wrong. I do need to do better, but I also know I'm a bad one. Okay. Don't get it twisted. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, back to favorite memories. Favorite memories were holiday gatherings with family. We had some really good ones. We had some epic ones. Yeah. So yeah, those 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 were some really good. What do you are they core memories? Mm hmm. Because you remember, you can see it, you can picture it. Yes. You remember things that you said or somebody else said. The food. Those, you the remember fantastic. the Fantastic. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. One of my favorite memories was on Fridays when Dallas, that, mm. no, what came on first? Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard, Dallas, and then uh, Falcon Crest eventually started coming on. It was those three on Friday nights. And so at this point, it was early, early to, it wasn't mid 80s. It was like 80, what? When, when did JR get shot? 80. I don't know, 283 or something. Yeah, you know you can't ask me dates. And we would go to my grandmother's house who lived across the street from us in South Memphis on Raven Street. And we would go over there and most of the family, immediate family would come over. Like my aunts and, um, and of course us and our mom and dad. Yeah, we were all there together, my uncle, and it was Fish Friday, honey. We had our fish, spaghetti, coleslaw, bread. We had white bread, right? It would be, I don't think it was rolls. It might, be it? it might have been Texas toast. Really? I don't think it was. It, it, with fish, it was probably white bread because yeah. they, you know, you That's swallow a bone. What was the name of that fish that had a little darn bones in it that they liked? Buffalo. <laughs> yes. I was like, what is the purpose? Why do you want to eat and put yourself in danger? Like, they like that. Hot, like, pain, food that causes me pain? I don't know. And then food that you have to constantly take the bones out of your mouth and you... Yeah, you To not... me, the flavor, I didn't get that there was any type of a different flavor that made me want to keep eating buffalo. Put your life and your throat in danger. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember finally trying it one time. I was like, oh, heck no. Yeah, it didn't taste different to me. Mm -hmm. Like, no. But you probably were... got like a, a meatier chunk of fish, but again, danger. You don't know how many bones in there. Some small, some big, like no. Yeah. I'm good, love. And remember, the fish came from the fish market on Lamar. Mm -hmm. That was next. It wasn't next to it, but it was down the street from that car wash. What was the name of that car wash? Was it Pressure World? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Pressure World. I've never been there. I take that back. I went for a party one time. <laughs> Me, it was me and you then. We went. We all went. Okay. Yeah, it that was, was back when I was working at at FedEx. Never went and got my car wash. Yeah. Ever. I didn't either. I heard it wasn't just a car wash. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, and rest in Because I feel like the guy that <laughs> um, owned it passed, passed away. away. And not long ago. Maybe oh. last year. Mm-hmm. I miss that. Yeah, so rest in peace to him. I mean, yeah, yeah rest in peace for sure. If that is true. Because that is a core memory. Pressure world, that fish market. I got it's just so place. many. Yeah. Who remember um, going to Wendy's on Lamar? And Mama used to always get. We would get, you know, our food or whatever, whatever we wanted to eat. But she always got dessert. That apple dumpling. Ooh, the apple dumpling from Wendy's in the '80s and McDonald's. Um, Cream cheese Danish. Mm. You just touched my soul with the Girl. cream cheese Danish. I was, I was good on the apple dumpling. I could just have a couple of bites. 
I would have rather have had the Frosty back then. Um, but that that McDonald's cream cheese Danish, yes. No, nobody has been able to duplicate it. Yes, they not have. even McDonald's, Starbucks. It's not the same. It was, no, not now. In the early 2000s, Starbucks had that that um, cream cheese Danish because you told me about it. Yes, and I used to go, and they would always be sold out. You had to get to Starbucks early because that cream cheese thing would always be sold out. You the one that told me about it. I had no idea. And so when I started going, I would say, look, do y'all have any that are frozen? I said, yeah. And I was like, you sure you want? I said, yes, ma'am. I was like, give me two of them. And she, she came like, home and did it. it. Yes, ma'am. She said, just let it sit out on the counter. I would have never thought to ask that question. Yeah. Mm. Cause I know that they sit some out for the day. And mm -hmm. after that, that's it. Oh. Because okay. they all frozen. So And that's to make sure they have some every day. Mm, so that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. But they but if you ask the right person on the right day <laughs> about the frozen ones, then they'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. And I sure did, baby. I would do that because I would sometimes, of course, you can get there at 8, 9 a.m. It's gone because they open it was 6, 6.30 or something. And get there by 9 a.m., you you probably out of luck. Probably yeah. sold out. But, the, but they changed it after, again. They changed their uh, cream cheese thing. It's just not the same. Yeah. It's horrible now. I don't know anybody who has had one better than the one. And McDonald's in the 80s. Like. Yes, you do. Starbucks, because you told me about it. It tasted the exact same to okay. me. Okay. It was, and it actually might have been a little bit bigger than the McDonald's. But anyway. Yes, you told me about it. I'm sad, because I don't remember that. But I remember mom not wanting to share that. She didn't want to share her um, pecan sandy cookies. And we just used to steal them and eat them anyway. Yeah. Her dun remember those Duncan Hine cookies? Not she used to say she would like thinking she finna reach over there and eat some and she would like pick up the package and like <laughs> yep. almost hit herself in the face because it was empty. We always found her stashes. Like un under your nightstand, under like that's not hiding it from kids who are looking for afternoon snacks yeah. after school. And kids who found their Christmas presents every year. And y'all didn't come home till like five. <laughs> y'all the 90s parents. The kids who grew up yep. as teenagers in the 90s. Parents didn't care. I said that to my dad a few weeks ago. He said, well, y'all turned out all right. <laughs> like he didn't even deny it. <laughs> they was literally like, mm, mm, y'all gonna be okay, I'll uh -huh. be back. I'm gonna go really live my we were, life. We yep. were good kids. We didn't throw parties, nothing like that. No drugs, nothing. Getting drunk. I did have a boy come over one time. I forget. Mm. That was high school. That was 12th grade. Was it 12 or 11? Yeah, we did. That was one time though. But we were we didn't misbehave like that. And guess who told it on me? I, now that I remember. I don't that know was what high school. Talking about. Okay. We had we about actually you. have another sister that y'all don't know. We did? Yes, that's who told on you. That's not who told on you. It is. No. Well, who did? You. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> This person right here, we don't have another sister. I always made the better decisions. You don't have a blood, another blood sister. I didn't understand why she didn't make better decisions. Now, see, that's, that's another example of bad decisions. Because she never did anything like that, but I did. I, I did, but like later. You did? I wouldn't have. Yeah, it... I think you were out like your first year out of high school and you were in the 12th grade. Uh-huh. That's probably like the worst it got. Like, I just didn't, she had to go to work and we were like sharing a car. And I just didn't come home when I was supposed to and I didn't care. And I did what I wanted to do. She said it was her year. 
bad decision. <laughs> well, you didn't make many of those. <laughs> and you made them late when you were almost 18. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, do you want to tell them a story real quick about the time you permed my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You know how many times I saw hair being permed? How many times my own hair was permed? So, in my mind, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, I wanted my hair to be permed so bad and my mom did not feel like doing it. And I was like, look, honey, my hair got to be laid when I go to school, okay? She didn't feel like doing it. I'm like, damn, my hair is, you know, new growth coming in. Can't do anything with my hair. Cause we had the perm, my mom had the perm, she just didn't feel like doing it. I was like, can I choose this? Yeah. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. Like, girl, come on, yeah, let's just mix this stuff up. Part it. Yeah. Lay it in there, mm -hmm. work it in, mm -hmm. and wash it out. It was simple. Yeah. But, why do we think, why did I, was it me or both of us thought my hair had to be clean? Before you put the perm in. That was you, because I, I, I don't think I ever thought that. <laughs> but I think we um, also didn't know, like, the the steps after. Yes. Like, neutralizing shampoo. Yeah. It was literally like Myra yep. <laughs> on Martin. <laughs> what? You gave Myra a perm without neutralizing. Oh, my. Y'all, it was bad. Well, how, did you miss? Did you miss like a week of school? Um, I may have missed just that one day to go to the dermatologist. Mm. We went to Aunt uh, Miss Ruthie. We, yes, we went to her because she had just gotten her um, cosmetology license, and she's a very very good close friend of the family and yeah i went to her first that night and she's like oh she did what she could she had some ointments and creams and stuff because i had blisters all in my head because of course first of all i washed my hair and it was still wet when she was putting the, the relaxer in my hair and then it was in there for too long and, and it was, of course, didn't... burning the crap out of my head. And we didn't use the neutralizing shampoo. No. Nope. First. My mom was so mad. <laughs> oh, she was so mad. And we were in my aunt's house. And we I think at... you had to wear a hat. Yes. She had to go to school with me. Oh, uh, alone. there's the timer. We can finish this story, though. We had to We had to go. No, my mom had to come to school with me. This was 11th grade. 10th or 11th. I think it was 11th, though. And because we couldn't wear hats at school. Yeah, a special note and everything. Yeah, I had a special note from the doctor, from the I mean dermatologist, and she had to go up there and talk to the principal. And he said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." So I got to wear my hat until my my uh, scalp peeled, and then I I got all my hair cut off. But I end up loving it. I end up loving my short hair. It was pretty. It looks really Do good I have on you. A you know what? I have a picture of us when we were um, little. When we were, what, maybe two and three? Or three mm -hmm. and four? And then um, I think I have some old pictures of. I have an old picture of us somewhere on my phone that I wanted to show y'all too of my hair. I should have had it ready. I believe. My dad sent it to me. B-roll it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. So I'll find that so y'all can see it. But I end up loving my hair, and I kept my hair short for a long time. I loved my haircut, my haircut short after that. I didn't start pretty. growing it out. So that was probably 1992 or three, something like that. And I kept my hair short until mm, was my hair short when I had Brianna? Early two thousands, maybe. Mm-hmm. 
So I had my hair cut short. I remember you for maybe ten years. Or so, you were something. growing it out when you were pregnant. Okay. So yeah, maybe about ten to fifteen years. I had my hair short. Yeah, I loved it. So yeah, it was cute or whatever. But guys, well, most of us don't really use them nowadays anyway. But if you do, don't. <laughs> Use neutralizing Talk shampoo to first. Yes, and if, yes. If you are, if you have uh, children, tell them this is a chemical. It's dangerous. Never do this without me. Okay. Mm -mm, I got it. Just go to a professional. They too. Well, Just. what if they think like me? Like I got to be fresh as it is at school, mm -mm. baby. Get a wig. Oh yeah, they do do that now. Like. Don't risk it, yeah. y'all. Y'all probably really don't have to worry about it because the natural hair care um, community is, it's not going anywhere. Risk I believe we love it. We, we love it too much to go back to, or we know how it is, how easy it is where we can transition if we do go back to the cream and crack. But, um, but yeah, this is fun. And I will say, oh, I can try the Popeyes. Growing up, <clears throat> So close in age, it's mm -hmm. like we had built-in best friends. But yep. she went through a phase where, you know, I want my own friends, and I was like, and ain't <laughs> I'm your friend, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> but um, but no, but seriously, like it was the best having a sister so close in age. Yeah, um, growing up together, high school was. So so much fun. Mm -hmm. So many good memories yep. with so many people. Like it was the best. Batteries are about to die, so go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and like. subscribe. Yes, likes get her noticed by other people so she can grab. And so I can keep bringing you guys great content. Yes, please like the video, please, and share and tell people about Miss Faith Marie. We're gonna we're gonna pause for a thumbnail. <laughs>